I guess the, the, the part that I feel like is novel, if you would, is the ability to do the quick change. So you're right. So if you look at it, you think about the bucket truck, right? Just from a process standpoint, you got to drive the truck over. You got to park it appropriately. You got to cordon off. You got to do all the safety stuff that you got to do with a bucket, which takes time. Then you got to lift up. Boom. Now you got to replace banner, replace banner, put banner, put banner, pull back down. Now you got to move. If the next one is a little bit up, you still got to move the truck a little bit. Now you got to move up. You yeah, move back. Part. You got to move the truck a little bit, move up, move back. And so you know this from manufacturing, looking at lean, right? Your transportation and your movement waste. Right, right. That job, because of all of the steps of do, 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 may turn into a two-day job when it could be a three-hour or four-hour job. That part. So when we... This business podcast, The Two Business Guys Mastermind, uncovers for you secrets and share tips and tricks to entrepreneurship as they mastermind on how to have startup, operational, and overall business success so that you can go on to get better results. Enjoy. So Rob, I want us to uh, mastermind on how to help this company make more money. Um, so this case study uh, is going to be literally about uh, a company that came to me and was kind of asking me a couple of things from a marketing perspective, uh, how they could put out this thing that he's invented into the hands of some ideal folks to go and, you know, do something with his company. Now, I looked at it, Rob, I'm, I'm going to pull it up here in a second, but you had a chance to look at it too. And let's mm -hmm. give people a little uh, understanding of it. First of all, this, this company, everybody is called Easy E Z with a Z banners with a Z dot com. Now, I I don't want to mess it up by saying it's a banner hanging company. No, that's not the case. What it is, though, I look at it, Rob, from the perspective of that. You know how you have those bucket trucks. I look at it as a bucket truck truck innovating company because mm -hmm. they found an innovative way to hang these banners with a uh he has a device fully patented the whole thing and now what he wants to do is put it in the hands of people that install stuff so what i'm helping them think about rob uh and then we can go a little bit deeper here mm -hmm. is how to find the people that might be interested in a licensing it and b how we can encourage them to take this up, even though they do some other kind of business, right? Now he gave me some ideas. He was saying, well, you know, like a lot of people in service master, um, mm -hmm. service pro, cleaning services, people like that, that already do stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I looked at this as the perfect boring business. Now, Cody Sanchez talks about, look, buy perfect, buy boring businesses. Nobody wants to do them, but they are making bank. And he's that perfect person, a little bit older, uh, is basically saying, you know, I, and I don't want to go and do this forever. Yeah. So what, what kind of thoughts when you looked at this company and we'll show it here in a minute, minute, everybody, when you looked at it, Rob, what kind of things that came to you? Let's mastermind on this. Yeah. I mean, the, the business model in and of itself, I think is it makes perfect sense. Right. So when you got specifically municipalities and everything, when I broke it down, what I looked at was two things. What's the cost that this is replacing? And I and I, I I'm looking as I'm looking through it. There's a couple of things that um that I saw. Number one, when you look at like for example, where I live, they've got you know the banners down the main drag that they change for Christmas and New Year's and 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 all the things, right? Mm -hmm. And when you think about having to change out those banners, you've got to do it. Let's say you've got twenty down that street with two on each side so that's you know 40 banners that you got to change out let's say you got to change them out four times or you know seven times a year mm -hmm. right for all the major holidays so you got thanksgiving you got christmas you got easter you got um you know the or let, let's do 12 times a year because there's normally there's a month for everything right every time you got to get a bucket truck so you either have to own one or you have to rent one mm -hmm. and this device that he has i think 
replaces that necessity. Basically, that same crew can in their golf cart or whatever it is that they're driving around with, they can just go ahead, pop, 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 and, and knock it out. So that's a dramatic reduction in cost. Um, it, it seems like a no brainer. The, the question that I, that I come to immediately is who's the customer? Yeah. One so of the things I don't think, think through is um, I see this as uh, imagine you now we've got people that are already in the services business and they kind of get it. Well, they do hard work. They, they lay carpet. They do this. So putting up banners. OK, no problem. So mm -hmm. I started thinking about, hmm, I says, now, I don't care who you vote for, but I can imagine if you got a reasonable size tree in your um, in your front yard. You can have banners mm -hmm. on there. You can rent that space. Now, I'm just saying, you can rent that space and put all kinds of stuff up. Now, of course, you, you know, there may be some laws against hanging banners in your yard. I don't know. But if they, if people put signs in your yard, I never had to get a permit for that. But now, in this case, you're doing advertising for whomever. I just say political because that's what we're in right now. But mm -hmm. I can imagine you can have those things in your yard making money for your household. Yeah. So some enterprising teenager could go around knocking on doors and saying, hey, this company would like to pay you. You got a pretty si good sized tree or whatever it is in your front yard, or they could probably hang one like they do when they're selling your house. They, this mm -hmm. company would like to uh, pay you to put a uh you know an advertisement in your yard. What do you think about this? Mm -hmm. Right, that part because they never give us yeah. money for that. We got this raggedy yeah. sign in our yard. <laughs> so now that was one of the things I started thinking about. That would be an encourager for someone to say, "And I want to rent this tool that allows me to do it fast. That allows me to do you know whatever it is." Yeah. So that was just one way, and then I yeah, started I think. Oh, go ahead. To your questions, like, well, who is my potential customer? Well, of course, municipalities. I can imagine, uh, you know, me living in Grand Rapids. I go to East Grand Rapids, and they always got some kind of banner up. But I, I started thinking, yeah, and every time they got to have, a, like, a truck come through there and do that, that mm -hmm. makes no sense. Mm -hmm. Right. right here you got the gas, you got the, the the rental, all the rest of that, yeah. yeah. Now, you start thinking about what stuff could go on the banner. All kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. QR codes, uh, all kinds of things that whatever that city, municipality, or whatever is trying to present mm -hmm. will constantly be making a, a, a income stream from people that want to engage folks in their area. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So I, I like it. I like the idea of banners in general as a um as another income stream because a lot of times right it's 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 advertising space it's it's marketing space that's it so there's that but then you know the the place where i really feel like and i guess i gotta um i guess the the, the part that i feel like is novel if you would is the ability to do the quick change so you're right so if you look at it, you think about the bucket truck, right? Just from a process standpoint, you got to drive the truck over. You got to park it appropriately. You got to cordon off. You got to do all the safety stuff that you got to do with a bucket, which takes time. Then you got to lift up. Boom. Now you got to replace banner, replace banner, put banner, put banner, pull back down. Now you got to move. If the next one is a little bit up, you still got to move the truck a little bit. Now you got to move up, you yeah, move back. Part. You got to move the truck a little bit, move up, move back. And so you know this from manufacturing, looking at lean, right? Your transportation and your movement waste. Right, right. That job, because of all of the steps of do, 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 may turn into a two-day job when it could be a three-hour or four-hour job. That part. So when we think about that in the savings, if I'm him... Uh, you know, one of the questions that I ask, I says, now, okay, so let's say somebody comes around and they see the, they see the opportunity and they say, mm -hmm. I'd like to buy this company. Mm -hmm. He's like, I'm not selling. <laughs> okay. But he says, I will joint venture. Mm -hmm. I will uh, partner with, and it had to be obviously the right conversation around that. Mm -hmm. Licensing is the big play. 
So now let's think for a minute. Let's mastermind on who should be licensing this. He mm -hmm. said that when he goes to, if there's some uh, big thing that they do every year, ISA, I think he says, International Sign Association or something like that. Mm -hmm. and you having worked in this space and, and consulted with um, people that create signs, mm -hmm. they would probably know. He says, he says it's almost as if there's like a, a a little a little cabal. They they only mess with the people they know, and they don't mess with banners. And maybe because that's kind of getting in there. And what it, what's that term when you eat up from beside uh, uh, cannibalizes? Amazing. Yeah. So they try to keep the banner. I'm thinking you get somebody that don't know what they don't know. Yeah. Right. They don't know these relationships and they don't know that they're getting ready to, you know, step on somebody's toes or whatever. But they just mm -hmm. want to earn a nice little living doing something that's not using a tool that's licensed, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So I said joint venture with them. I says put a call out. These are some of the suggestions. Put a call out to people on Craigslist. Mm -hmm. Because these are sometimes people that just want to make a living. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of people on it. I says, now that's obviously before. That's if you have an individual that says they want to do it. But Rob, I'm thinking banner companies should be all over this. Banner companies that do installation, I would say definitely, right? Because you, you got two kind of different types of print companies. You got the print companies that just do the banner, send it to you, and you're responsible for your installation. And I think of that, that's one of the issues that you run into because if you're looking at municipalities and all the rest of that, they have installation crews that are in-house. So they just purchase the materials and then they have their crews go and install. With right? the bucket trucks. With, with the bucket trucks. Right. With, now, with the here's the, and so here's the here's the key. What and I think kind of the model goes into is that if you sell the banner and you allow them to use your tool so they don't have to go get the bucket truck. What you have to be able to do is you have to price it in such a way that it's a no brainer, at least the first time. So that they actually get to try it and they get to see it. And you've got to. Because I've been looking through the website and looking for the, you know, the case studies and everything. And I think that the one thing, if I, if I had to, if I was advising this company on what they have here, like they've got this one where they did city of Whitehall and it says city workers installed the banners and said they love the easy banners. And it was a huge time saver. I would do a case study with the next person that they worked with where we did like a trial, a, 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 a test, right? Where they did half of the banners with bucket trucks and half the banners with easy banners. And, or, you know, we did one project with bucket trucks and one project where they, they track their time in some way, but it, it, it's kind of like, remember back in the day when you used to have the taste tests and they would have yeah, people sit yeah. down and you taste Pepsi and you taste Coke and right you want to be able to demonstrate specifically how long it normally takes them to do this project and how long it took them to do it with easy banners, because here's the key that becomes all of the savings that you add up. And now it's not a speculation. It's not an estimation. It's we were able to save this many man hours, right? Which we can calculate. And we were able to save this much on renting the truck and gas and right. Cause there's more than just the rental, the truck, the, the truck rental, cost mm -hmm. and that's the thing that i would look at because a number of these they say that they liked them right they say that they loved it it was it was really awesome but there's not a um there's not a a, a conversation of this saved us this much money this was worth this much to us etc 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 and i think that's the thing that i would recommend that they put in here because you want to make it a no brainer for the person to say, of course, we do easy banners instead of this because of these three key factors of why the buyers want it. Right. Dealing, and you know, this we talk about. Right. Um, dealing with the problem. Right. Agitating the problem and then presenting a solution that solves yeah. that problem. Like this cart. Look at this place right here. Can you see this? All right. Mm hmm. So, you know, I, if I got a, uh, a an, an installer, I don't have to move my cars now. I don't have exactly. to drive on the grass. Exactly. You don't got to get a bucket truck up there. You know, those things, burr, 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 and they, you know, they go too far and all that. I just got, right. you uh, got, I got that. So yep, got you got less liability, you got less, all of that type of stuff. So to me, again, it seems like an easy sale. No, I think, I think the opportunity that exists 
uh, is on the marketing side, right? Somebody walking alongside of him saying, okay, let's joint venture. I'll do the marketing side. Here's, here's our split, right? I'm going to license the tool and, um, and, or you get your licensing fee. And I think he's got it pretty well worked out in his mind as to how he would like to do it. He wants like a percentage of the banner and then licensing fee for using his tool. So I get it from that perspective. Now, I think as an opportunity is somebody going in and saying, okay, I'm going to create a marketing company and I'm going to go out and get the people for you. Yeah. To go get, right. I agree. I think his, the, the, and with most businesses, and this is one of the things that a lot of people, um, it, it's not talked about a lot. I feel like in business, the, the people who are the bet, like oftentimes you have people who have great ideas and you have people who are great at marketing and bringing ideas to market. Yeah. Normally they're not the same person. Correct. <laughs> and so in a lot of instances, right. Somebody comes up like this is a perfect idea. And he's like, hey, this makes this easier. Great. Now, the question then becomes, who do you know that needs it and can and is willing to buy it? I love the way Myron Golden talks about it. He always talks about, you know, so many people struggle in business because we go out and we try to sell what we have to people. He's like, you're doing it backwards. What you want to do is go find people who are already looking for what you're what you have to sell and make it easier for them to find you. That's part, that part. So you, that's the concept we've talked about before, hungry market, right? Exactly. You had a, a food truck and it sat right by the bar after people got out, right? And they go- You don't have to have oh. the best food in the world. You still going to make lots of money. Right. That part. So, okay, food truck people. So listen, here is, you are in, in the comment section, put what, what are some of the five, 10 ways or, you know, one or two ways if you want that you can see something like Easy Banners getting people on board with his invention and then going out and doing this work. Rob and I is kind of, we mastermind on it a little bit. And I think about, again, that old school, um, you know, boring business that can make somebody a good living. And of course, you know, it being licensed to this guy who's like, say, he, you know, he says, I'm not, I'm not, you know, 28 no more. Right. So I'm kind of like at a stage where I just want to chill, get my licensing fees, knowing that good work is being done out there and call it a day. Mm-hmm. Right. Perfect setup for somebody that comes in and says, oh, I can sell this all day long. Exactly. So, you know, go sell it all day long. Rob and I, we will. Literally, and I'm talking to the guy from a marketing perspective because he might need might need me to help him market stuff. Now he happened to find me on I was doing a talk, a workshop on AI. Mm-hmm. And I turned him on to some AI opportunities because he wanted to like, you know, do a commercial and all this kind of stuff. I says, Hey man, you don't have to do all that stuff anymore, or you don't have to incur the same kind of cost. Let me turn right. you on to um some other ways. So I want to show mm-hmm. these other ways we talked about. Uh, using Google Notebook. I'll show it here real quick. Mm-hmm. Pull it up. This is a lot of fun, Rob. And um, I don't even know if I've shown you this. Mm-mm. Can you see the screen yet? And learn with everybody else. Yep. Okay. So here's uh, uh, Google Google Notebook. Notebook. I've actually done three videos on this already. And as soon as <laughs> I put them out, they like went nuts. So um, I'm going to use, uh, I'll go ahead and use, I think this is his. Yeah. So what it, what it will do, first things first, you type in either the website or you can put in a prompt or something like that. And then it will determine what exactly are you talking about? This mm-hmm. is a cool part, right? So then it will do multiple things. You go, to, I go to notebook guide here. It'll do a FAQ page, a study guide based on what it's determining. Table of mm-hmm. contents, timelines, briefing doc. So it talks Mm -hmm. about easy banners is a revolutionary whole banner system that eliminates the need for bucket trucks. Boom. Problem statement. Mm -hmm. Right. Making banner installations safer, faster, cheaper, and more environmentally friendly. 
If I'm yep. him, I'm leading benefit that statements. Period. Yep. Yep. Benefit statements. That's right. Right. And mm -hmm. not only that, pro you got the problem statement in there and the benefit statement wrapped in. Mm -hmm. so that's going to mm -hmm. be, boom, my headline. So my suggestion to him is create just multiple landing pages speaking to each one of these 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 hypotheses in terms of installers. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. So you have you know, your service pros, you could just talk right to them. Say so service pros, here's a new way to put some income in your pocket. Da, 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 da. So get this right. to wrap this thing so, off. So, so here's the thing. I I, I like that. I want to I want to check really quickly because here's where in this business model, I don't feel like the installers are the target market. I feel like the installers are the competition. I feel like your target market are your municipalities who already do this and already have a system that is inefficient. And what you're literally saying is same thing, half the price or same thing, 40% off. Right. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, all these other benefits, right? Right. Faster. Uh, more environmentally sound, yep. less risk. Da, 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 da. You, 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 you get those institutional clients because you can put them on a retainer where for every time they need a banner, here's the pricing, here's this, and they they already can es estimate what they need for the year and they do it. So that you're not doing one-offs with the installers. Now you can do a yeah. licensing thing with the installers, but then they've got to build that, their that's, whole- That's his approach. I think that's what he, he's at. Right, you're looking at it from who who is my uh, uh, ideal customer, my ideal customer, and we showed that on site. He basically showed it. Bam! All these people. He's now looking for people that want to do the work. So that's what he's like. Look, it's just me, and I'm mm -hmm. not 23. <laughs> right, and so as what he wants to do is now yeah, he needs to partner with a sales company. People, yeah. that part. Yeah, he needs to partner with a sales and marketing or a business work. development company. Yeah, And that's where I says, you know, and of course I can't help myself. I see other income streams because mm -hmm. in these income streams, you might want to attract other ways people can use the tool, use the mm -hmm. technology and earn mm -hmm. a living if they get pushed back from municipalities that say, oh, we got people. Well, then you mm -hmm. go around doing these other things. Mm -hmm. Main thing mm -hmm. is use the tool License it from them, and then yeah. follow, what I would do is I would make a relationship with a banner company, and I would mm -hmm. say, "Hey, banner company, I understand that you just print, but you you might want to do more. You might want mm -hmm. to have a side company that integrates that gives you some vertical vertical integration. Yeah. Vertical integration, yeah. So get this: you create your own demand. That right because. Right. Because a lot of companies, a lot of sign companies, what they do is they have installers that are basically independent contractors that they use to do the installation. Right. And, and they roll up in these bucket trucks. Exactly. And they've got to, but they're paying that price plus the premium on that price for all of that, whereas they can bring it in. And now with this, because they're saving the money, they can hire somebody to do their banners as a 1099 using their tools. And now it's just paying for the time instead of paying for the whole thing. That part. So Rob, I want to show you this because I got to jump off in a minute, but look at this. Mm -hmm. So this thing, notebook LM will create based on what you input. Mm -hmm. Typically, you know, you can put in a link, you can put in, I, I, I did it in a several ways, bro. I, I actually use a Google document and had it create a podcast I even did ours. I took our, our transcript and put it back mm -hmm. in and it created a podcast based on the podcast that we do. So listen to this real quick. This is mm -hmm. them looking at cows or, or this guy's company and then listen to the voices, brother. Bucket trucks. Can you believe they might be on their way out? Oh, <laughs> on their way out. That's a bold statement. What makes you say that? Well, it seems like Easy Banners is out to completely change how the banner industry works. You know, that industry's been doing this is amazing way forever. Yeah, it's true. Industries get stuck in their ways. What's Easy Banners' grand plan to shake things up? Those giant parking lots so outside I, I, big box stores, you know the ones. They say all those light poles are just begging for a So this is all AI. Yeah, yes. those light poles are definitely under This is crazy. I wonder how their system handles different situations. What about banners that need to stretch across a busy street or those super high up installations? New technology? But we so I'm skipping ahead, but look at it. It did it did a nine minute video 
literally based on what it interpreted was on the site. That's crazy. Okay. And there's more. So <laughs> get this. So I go, hmm, that's interesting. I do a couple of videos on it for my other site. And they they like go and they blow up, right? I got people mm -hmm. in the comments I'm talking to back and forth. It was like, what? And like, bro, one guy says, man, why doesn't this, this why don't you have a million followers and this thing is only getting like, you know, 15 uh, comments. I says, I know, right? <laughs> so anyway, and another thing I says, okay, how, how could I take this to another level? So I did another video on how I took just the table of contents part. I think it was either study guide or briefing doc, one of them. So if I go to briefing doc, it then gives me a, a document, a detailed briefing, right? Cost effective. Mm -hmm. da, da, da. So then I took that and plugged it into, plugged it into another AI. This one's called Gamma. See, look at this. It's giving me uh, all of the stuff that it does, but it did that. It determined bucket truck elimination, cost savings. So now I just got to go and then place it. I put it in this site called, oh man, I'm getting ready to blow your mind, Gamma. Oh yeah, Gamma, the uh, Gamma app. Gamma, yeah, yeah, this is, this is awesome. Yeah, go ahead. No more PowerPoints for me, sir. Exactly. PowerPoint, <laughs> Microsoft, PowerPoint, you're fired. Immediately, <laughs> done. So yeah. I do imagine now what I did was I took the for I took the information that I got from Google. Mm -hmm. I created and I did a video on this. I'm going to release that probably later today. I did a mm -hmm. video on the um, the what it did for me. I then took mm -hmm. that information, had to tighten up a couple things. I put it on LinkedIn. In as an article. Mm. And it was a beautiful article because it's all my stuff from mm -hmm. the words I used. Mm -hmm. it? So it's not AI making up stuff. And then mm -hmm. I put some links in doo -doo, as an affiliate marketer, so you get paid. <laughs> that goes bananas because people are on there going, hey, what, what's the? And I put the vid I put a, uh, the, the um, article talking and I happen to be, hey, I was using this AI and I, I had my wife's company up here and this is what it did and blah, blah, blah. So now I'm giving her game for her company. Mm -hmm. So imagine mm -hmm. we can do that too for other companies. Then, mm -hmm. so I got an article out of it. Then I put links in the article, income opportunity. Then I put the video, view opportunity. Mm -hmm. right? and then I says, what if I use this to create based on what was already there? So this is what it came up with. Google Notebook, Unlocking a wealth of opportunities. Now, remember, in the repurposing space, we just create once and repurpose forever. There is no reason why we need to leave our little offices, <laughs> our little closets in our homes mm -hmm. to do anything anymore. We sit there and we create like this all day long. So look at this. It created images, beautiful little background, because I changed the background to blue so it'll pop out better and blue is mm -hmm. my favorite color. And then it's just basically taking from what I already had done, plugging it in a different way. So now I got another way. I can grab this information here, plug in links. Hold on, pull that up so we can see. It. Oh, I'm not showing it? No, not yet. Ah. I'm sorry, y'all. You know, I got I got excited. <laughs> so, okay, can you see it now? Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. So I did that. I do that all the time. I'll get to going. This is I can't. We can't see anything. So here it is. Here's what I put up: Google Notebook LM unlocking. I know I've already done this in another way, just using the same information. It creates this. Mm. I can present on that or use that as a lead magnet. Mm -hmm. Put it out there in a variety of ways. Now, some of the mm -hmm. images I did notice don't look great, right? I mean, they, mm -hmm. they have stuff spelled all messed up. Like, I don't know what L-I, H-T-M-L maybe. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you can go in and change out the picture. No problem. You yep. can adjust it. But now I got another thing that I could present from if I so desire. I got mm -hmm. another thing that could be out there earning an opportunity for you to make a good living because I can put mm -hmm. links in here, driving them back to things. I can teach out on it, which I did. Mm -hmm. replace stuff all this man faqs oh my gosh bro i'm telling you we should never leave our offices 
<laughs> again. And then it gets all the way down to the bottom. It's got some good stuff. I can put some call to actions in there. To, just uh, I get to awesome. it, man. Yeah. I no, forgot this saw my other person coming in uh for this meeting, but right. that becomes the opportunity, my guy. And if yes. you all are listening right now, look at what uh we were talking about with easy banners. Mm -hmm. Comments in this in in the uh, if, uh in the comment section. What mm -hmm. would you do? How would you could you use could you maybe want to call this guy up and says I'll install stuff for you? Right. Right. What's what's our what's the licensing play? And then you go mm -hmm. out there and make a good living for yourself. So that's that's all I have, Robbie. Yeah, yeah no, I love it. I love it. That's it. So if you see something that you like, hit us in the comments. And oh, as Randy always says, if you feel like we're full of canal water, let us know that too. All right, y'all, we will talk to you on the next video. See you, man. Take it easy, bro.